hi friends today i am going to discuss the things related to the skill set skill set required for the fresher in a highway design field okay uh, here i will give a brief idea what are the things required to get a, into highway design job okay whether it is graduate or post graduate but uh, somewhat similar okay now let's start okay so this is the flow chart autocad AutoCAD is the basic thing for us, all civil engineers. Okay, whether he is in a structure or a highway, whatever. But AutoCAD knowledge is compulsory. Uh, so, for drawing, draft one, it is expert level knowledge is required. But uh, for engineer, a medium knowledge is enough. Means like trimming, all those things that I will explain in the later section. Okay, then. MX road, civil 3D and open roads basics. Basics is enough. No, no need to do deep knowledge because in a in education uh, institution, we won't get a experience of these softwares. But uh, just attend the trainings. What will the methodology like that? That will better benefit for the view. Okay, then Microsoft Excel. Very, very important whatever the data is there that needs to be analysis all those things so many functions are there that idea should be there okay then word and powerpoint normally so many of things that it's not required for a civil engineer this word and powerpoint because when you grow means uh, from small position to higher level from engineer to senior engineer and then uh, what to say principal engineer so the ppt knowledge and the ppt should be prepared by our own ourselves to uh, impact the client okay so good skills make a good uh, what to say good projects and then good revenue and everything will be a positive manner so powerpoint and word word formatting all those things you need to aware then google earth Google Earth is very very important, especially for doing the bypass options uh, in highway design. Uh, in Google Earth, normal basics is enough. Okay, then important codes and manuals means like IRC codes and DMRB codes. Just simple basics is enough. If you remember the code name is that is also very good. Okay, then for four lane, what is the code and flexible payment? What is the code? that that also a very good and uh, have a brief idea that's it then go to the uh, engineering service what type of engineering service is required for the highway design that type of uh, means road inventory and uh, what to say uh, visual payment condition survey and so many surveys are there that they used to teach in a, a, a institute itself some basic idea if you read any any what to say uh, Kanna and Jesto book and Kadiali book, you will get an idea, basic idea, recognize and survey, okay, all those things. And then payment design basics, okay, just like what flex, what are the parameters required for flexible and rigid. That basic idea, and uh, if you read the code perfectly, then you can understand it. But when you get into industry, it will be a very different procedure. So, but methodology will be the same some may use excel some may use uh, some spss but but the methodology is the same but that's why i'm saying payment design basics what are the parameters required for flexible and uh, receipt and what type of service required that under that overviews required okay then traffic service see this payment design basics is entirely dependent on the traffic service because based on the traffic only will estimate the uh, thicknesses so traffic how it is going to conduct normally in a mtech or btech the traffic survey should be conducted by the students for any other reason for research purpose or uh, for consultancy easy works but uh, so there must be idea so no need to worry but some analysis data processing is there how how we need to do that things should be aware okay so these are the important contents is required okay let's start 
start one AutoCAD AutoCAD medium level that's what I said medium knowledge is enough no need of expert so when you join in a um, heavy industry as a fresher okay before joining uh, so you should be aware about this command trim break command xrefs how to attach xref images okay and how to prepare a cross section and uh, some modifications in the line trimming and fillet okay those options should be aware that will that will give a good uh, means opinion about you means he is having some good knowledge means at least basic knowledge is there no need to teach him uh, that comes from the manager and the dimensions and the layer names okay after that scaling text annotation and cross sections preparations okay these things you must be aware because there are so many sources to learn now youtube is there and uh, linkedin learning is there and so many sources are there so please have a good knowledge on this autocad okay then mx road civil 3d and open road basics okay this is civil 3d mm. but in these things you just need a basic idea what is the methodology they are going to use okay and uh, how the process will start how normally we'll take a survey data and then import it and then we'll start the geometry like that the basic methodology you should understand no need of in-depth knowledge basic methodology is enough okay some important contents okay that's what i'm saying so then this is mx road mx road is different like string based and uh, civil 3d is template template based and then open road is also same template based here it will call assembly and we will call a template that's a basic difference but both are similar tool these are tool based this is and uh, this is a string based concept okay that that you should understand normally in interview somebody means the interviewer may ask okay and then excel very very important thing okay so first one is pivot tables and then county formula and we look up and so many functions are there uh, one website is there this exceleasy.com this is a wonderful website for uh, so many functions because if you if you are good at excel it will give a benefit means while doing the traffic survey analysis and uh, sometimes what happens um, so, uh, sometimes what happens uh, if they give us some work normally it takes so much time but if you think and write a some useful function okay then you can reduce the manpower that will create a good impression to the manager that's what happened one or two times with my friends and myself also okay so that's why i'm saying some good functions you should learn before starting a career okay and then word that's what i said in the beginning uh, in the word formatting formatting is compulsory because nowadays executives are there in uh, each company but uh, sometimes what happens due to the unavailability of the sources uh, you have to do the formatting so good formatting report is a better gives a better impression okay so formatting is required and text aligning and tables adjustment okay that should come automatically when you do seriously on a project mtech project okay so that's what and then powerpoint powerpoint skills normally this everyone is aware but some some more techniques with the linkedin learning and you can learn it from various sources some useful techniques you can use and make impress so attractive designs and formatting header and footer and page breaks etc in a word okay then is google earth and google maps as i said in the introduction google earth you can see here google earth from and to destination path path creation 
okay and then uh, kml kmz creation for site visits after that uh, this place mark and uh, measuring measuring the distances and uh, measuring the elevation sh showing the elevation profile this is especially used for the bypass options okay while doing the bypass options you may use the google earth so basic understanding means how to create a pins and all those things you should be aware okay and then google maps one video is there in my channel you can have a look how to create these pins and how to create the path in a google maps this will be useful for live live tracking while you are at site okay you can track lively at the uh, for that point okay so these are the borehole data okay that's it guys google earth and google maps related information is is uh, essential okay now quotes i already made a video on that course you should read before starting highway design okay 38 and sp23 whatever the things in the kadiyali or um, kannan just to they have mentioned from here this code should should read irc 38 and irc 23 sp84 irc 37 58 no need to read everything just have a overview how the uh, things are made it contents are prepared okay that's is enough actually for pressure okay and then then engineering surveys and investigations this this is what i said inventory road inventory how the elements road elements width of the road and the bridges all those things just overview means if you have done uh, some good project on highway geometric design so then you must be aware about these inventories but if you have a just overview also enough okay this condition survey payment condition topographic survey how the long section and the cross sections point will take and payment investigations trial pit investigations okay and then material survey borrow area aggregate sources sand sources other construction materials cement and bitumen these are in depth but having a overview that is enough for a fresher okay now payment design basics in payment design design traffic how it could be calculated uh, for flexible payment and then for rigid payment msa calculation and then commercial vehicle traffic okay and then subgrade strength cbr value how and lab test understanding how we may use to calculate so normally in our bachelors or post graduation you may have the uh, experiments for cbr and so many tests are aggregate tests and so many tests are the transport engineering lab so have a brief overview when you are going to attend interview also so just go back to the uh, lab test and understand the process all those things okay and then flexible and rigid payment design basics as i said the what are the important contents required parameters required cbr and msa okay and then um, axillode spectrum okay and the axillode test all those things wwd basics following with deflectometer basics nowadays vbd has replaced by the fwd okay that is a entirely dynamic fwd so how things are going to happen in a uh, fwd that things to be covered then this traffic surveys and analysis traffic surveys and analysis okay in general i prepared around eight videos on this okay uh, for highway project what are the traffic surveys required so these three are very important so have a look and uh, read the content and understand why we are doing and how we, we is to carry out and what is the purpose of carrying out this service okay so that understanding is enough for a fresher okay once you join in a design field so normally you will get a chance to do this service okay if you go to the traffic engineer or highway engineer also must be aware about these things okay so that's it guys okay 
these are the these are the contents okay main thing so I explained uh, briefly okay if you have any query please comment for more videos please subscribe my channel thanks for watching